in Gabriel 2. Yeah, I'm Terry Miles. This is our robot toxic tea. This year, we've got a new fruiter, and this is six mil hardox. The bits on the sides do, do move. We, we, I know how to build them, it's just not too sure on how to drive them still. This is Gabriel 2. This is very much old school. It's a, a broadsword that we used in England many years ago. As far as the other, other robots are concerned, almost none of them can reach us. One other roboteer said it's a bit like trying to get a drunk fat man out of a bar. Well, let's see how this drunk fat man does against what was one of the favourites of the competition. Terry, though, has done some tinkering, some upgrades. Let's see if it's made this already formidable robot even more powerful. It's, you can see the power behind that blade of Gabriel 2. It just needs to find the mark. Terry clearly having some issues there with control. Usually, we see him being much more aggressive and manoeuvrable. That being said, though, Gabriel put into the claws of Goliath. Oh, dear! Terry nearly wheeled himself straight into the pits. There's definitely an issue with the drive there. And Toby behind the sticks of Gabriel 2, able to take advantage. Raining down blows, sparks flying. As Terry continues to have issues with his control. Toxic 2 tried to take the center ground, but Gabriel gets some crucial hits in whilst being pushed against the thunder drum. Maybe Terry's found his mark, maybe he's dialed in now. Gabriel now back again, attacking repeatedly, but missing all that he's hitting potentially now under Toxic 2. This could be Terry's opportunity to use what he's learned in the last few seconds to get a big flip. Gabriel could be out of the arena. Or, it could rain down more blows on the top of Toxic 2. Thundering down, repeatedly, battering his opponents, and now against the arena wall. Are we seeing a comeback for Toxic 2? Yes, a good hit now. Sending its opponent into the Thunderdrop against the arena wall. Gabriel is normally a flagging kind of robot, but does seem to be against the ropes at this point. Is it more panic? On the sticks of Gabriel, the young Toby, Craig's heir apparent, the master of the sword, hopefully proving his dad that he's the right choice for the job. Goliath twitching to get involved. That sword keeps raining down. Terry manages to avoid a lot of those hits, though, even though he's having troubles with the controls. Gabriel's will bending under the pressure momentarily was there inside the maw, the gob of Toxic 2. We wanted a fight, not a snog fest, boys. Fight being counted down. This will go to the judges. Every hit of that blade will increase Gabriel's standing in the judges' eyes, but will it be enough to secure a win? The blade finding its mark so many times. Two had maneuverability driving issues. Let's see what the judges thought. Before we get the results, let's have a little chat. How do we feel that went for you, Terry? Not as good as I wanted, but at least I did last the whole fight, which is really good. I've, I've got lost motors on the front, so I have to drag the front around. You can just, inside, it, I'm trying to turn and it's just, <laughs> it just won't turn. Toby, how do you think it went for you? You were just flailing around all over the place, but was it controlled? I sort of knew that the drive was a bit packed up on uh, Toxic 2, so I was trying to maneuver around them, hit them from the side, hit them from the back, that kind of thing. Uh, the judges have checked all their scores, but the winners, of that fight are Gabriel 2! Well done. It's a massive round of applause for your roboteers! Thank you! Gabriel 2 gets a win against the limping Toxic 2, but a chance for Toxic 2 to get a win in the next heat. This competition is open to seasoned fighters and